course. Today we're going to look at income and substitution effects in the context of two different examples so that we can see when the income effect is important and we can see when the substitution effect is important. Let's consider first a 10% price drop in a peanut butter cup. If the price of a peanut butter cup goes down, one of the things that you'd expect people to do is to buy more peanut butter cups. We can see this, by the way, if we were to look at the demand curve for peanut butter cups, the price drop, even though it's small, induces some people to slide along the demand curve and the quantity demanded increases. So people will buy more peanut butter cups. And what does that mean? Well, that means that they'll be buying fewer types of candy that are related to peanut butter cups, perhaps a Hershey's chocolate bar. So there's definitely be a substitution effect away from the Hershey's candy bar, where the price remained constant, towards the peanut butter cup where the price has fallen. So substitution effect, check in this particular case. What about an income effect? The income effect here is negligible. Let me explain why. If you buy a peanut butter cup instead of a Hershey's candy bar, you're saving 10 cents. 10 cents is a dime. And if we hold a person's income constant, you have an extra dime to spend because you save 10 cents on the peanut butter cup. The question then really becomes, if you have an extra 10 cents to spend, what else could you buy? And the answer is, what you could buy with the additional 10 cents is so small, it's so trivial, that it doesn't really matter. So in this case, there's a substitution effect, but because the savings amounts to roughly 10 cents, you know, if a candy bar is a dollar, 10 cents isn't enough to create an income effect. So the income effect does not exist. Now let's look at the next example. Now we're going to consider a 10% price drop in the price of a brand new vehicle. I'm keeping the percentage price drop the same, you know, to, to hold as much constant as possible. But now we're considering a slightly different purchase. In this case, the price drop would cause people to buy more of the specific vehicle. So if this ends up being a Honda Accord, which nicely equipped is $30,000, if you can save 10% on a Honda Accord, well, that amounts to $3,000. Now, if we hold your income constant and you've just saved $3,000, the question is, is that a lot of money? And for most everybody, Bill Gates and a few others accepted, $3,000 is a real change in your purchasing power. So there's a real income effect here. So the first thing we could say is $3,000 income effect, yes. What about a substitution effect? Well, okay, the price of a Honda Accord goes down. So here's our demand curve for a Honda Accords. So the price falls from $30,000 to $27,000. That's going to cause a movement along the demand curve, which is going to cause people to buy more in the way of Honda Accords, and less in the way of other competing vehicles. So whether that would be, um, this is a Honda Accord here, uh, that would be, uh, for instance, uh, an alternative vehicle. We might consider a Toyota Camry, um, or we might consider another vehicle in that same class. People are going to buy more Accords and fewer Camrys. That's the substitution effect. The substitution effect still matters. And that's the point I wanted to get to here. There's a substitution effect in both cases. There's a drop in the price which causes people to buy more peanut butter cups and buy more Honda Accords. But the moment people buy more peanut butter cups, they buy fewer other chocolate bars, and they buy fewer of the other vehicles that compete with a Honda Accord. So we have a substitution effect in each case. It always matters. There's always a substitution effect. Um, but there's not an important income effect here because the amount of money you save is too small. And yet over here, the amount of money you save is large enough to create a real income effect, despite the fact that the percentage changes in the prices are held constant or are the same. hope this has been helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.